I feel like I'm dreaming. I feel like something's gonna wake me up any minute and I don't want to. So, uh, just really blessed. I feel celebrated in a way that I've never been. This entire experience, not just the photo shoot, but everything you all did for me yesterday, I really could never have anticipated what it was going to do for me, in me, through me, and all around me. Uh, I learned so much when I when we were on Hollywood Boulevard and uh, like Kim, the girl in the wheelchair, and the way people who just came up and said, oh, can I take a picture with you? You know, it, it, it helped me to remember what I've told so many people before, but didn't realize until yesterday no one had ever said it to me. And that was, make sure you always go where you're celebrated. Don't hang around where you're tolerated. There's a huge difference. And last night when I got back to the hotel, I was lying in bed and all I could think about was when I was like the people across the street from my hotel in the homeless camp and whatnot. And I just, it was so surreal to believe that I had come so far from that to this. As Heart of Hollywood had blessed me so much by putting uh, my show on the back of the cover, I thought, well, huh, what would it be like to be on both at the same time? You know, I'm a person who didn't know my own history for 32 years. And so to have the opportunity at almost 60 years old to write some history, which we all have that opportunity every day, but this was a little different. It was very special. It was very, very special. And I was motivated to do it because I'm a competitive person, but in something like this where uh, you got to remember 15 years ago, I did not have any social media photos, it was just the silhouette. No one had pictures of me unless it was like this. And I had shaved my head, brushed my teeth in the shower for 26 years because I did not like looking at myself. So to go from that to this is incredible. And so I just want to encourage anyone, you know, if you love yourself, love yourself more every day and believe that you can be anything. And I do mean anything, so. These covers, what I love about Heart of Hollywood and the competition, it's not about, you know, coming through some modeling course or, you know, it's not about how you think you look on the outside. It's about how you want to feel or you are feeling about yourself on the inside. And what I learned most about this was how many people in my world really, really love me. And that was better than anything, better than anything. And I would have never known had I not taken that risk and, and got myself inside this competition. And I'm so, so grateful that I did. So I would absolutely encourage any and everyone to enter. You know, there were a lot of people, it didn't miss me. There were 40 some guys when I entered the competition and almost 70% of them hadn't done anything after they got in. And I couldn't figure that out. But I guess you have to have a reason. You know, it's like this. The reason it worked out so well for me was because when I made the decision, I meant it. And the moment we do things that we mean, they become meaningful somewhere in the universe immediately. And this is how we learn what we're capable of when we have no proof that we can do it, but something tells us deep inside that we can. So that is what this is, an opportunity to learn something about yourself you might not be able to any other way. You know, this cover model thing, being on the cover of a magazine, it's not just the cover, the true gift is the real estate you get on the inside. And what I hope for, which you'll find on the cover is, you know, moving beyond our scars. We are more than our scars, whether you can see them or not. And I want you, I hope for you, my hope for every person who reads this magazine uh, and, these, and these stories within it, not just mine, but all of them, is that you understand 
one of the greatest gifts of all is that honor your scars. Truly, honor your scars. Be grateful that you have them. Why? Because every single scar has a voice. And it is a story that goes with it. So, honor your scars. Honor your scars. Get out and do what it is we were designed and created to do in this world and change this world. On the phone with my husband this morning, I was just, it was just pouring out of me that so many things I could have never expected. Um, I learned a lot about responsibility to your blessing. When we pulled up on Hollywood Boulevard and I got out and there were strangers who just came over and wanted to take a picture. You know, so many of us have experienced feeling invisible in this world at one point or another. And to go from that to what happened yesterday, um, and not just yesterday, all the days leading up to this, I learned it uh, during the months, during the competition on the phones and um, asking people to support, you know, it's a hard thing uh, to ask people uh, to do this, but what made it easy for me was what you, what I knew that Heart of Hollywood was going to do through this opportunity for other people, uh, what the donations and the votes were all about. So it was a win-win. Plus, I was so excited, so very, very honored to be able to introduce the people in my inner circle that I love more than anyone to someone else, some more people that I love, the Heart of Hollywood team, people that I love deserve to know the other people that I love. And that's what really pushed me over the edge and allowed me uh, to find the courage to do this competition. So every single minute, there is not one second that stands out greater than the next. And I, and I sincerely mean that. Everything from the homeless camp across the street that I didn't even know existed, to the red carpet treatment, uh, you know, the lunch at the Beverly Hills Hotel, the Hollywood sign, the Walk of Fame, um, the Beverly, uh, no, the Boulevard Hotel last night uh, for, for champagne and just everything. Even the rides in the car between the places, except when I got car sick going up to the <laughs> Hollywood sign. But even that, I learned about myself. And I just want to say, there's always more to know about others, but more importantly, about yourself. You know, there's a promise that says, if you seek it, you will find it. And this week, it happened for me. And that's all I want you to know, because I want you to do the same thing. I did.